This is the amp solar charger. It's a compact solar charger that'll fit easily inside any bag. If you open up the amp, what you'll see is two 2 watt panels. Both of these panels are extremely tough and will last you a long time. Together they produce about 4 watts of power, which means you can charge your smartphone or iPhone in about four and a half hours. Many solar chargers have one watt of power, which is about this much area in solar cells. What this means is that you'll take 16 hours to charge your iPhone if you ever actually are able to charge it. So having more area of solar cells means you'll have faster charging. If you flip over the case, you'll see inside we have this universal USB battery. This battery is important because it stores power generated by the panels, um, and it can be charged either by from the solar panels or directly from any, any USB port on your computer. At the top of the battery, you can see it starts charging because we're pointing it towards light. On the top of the battery, there's a USB port, and this USB port is just like the USB port on your computer, and you can use it to charge all your devices. So for example, I have an iTouch with a USB charging cable. I can plug it directly into there. Oops, make sure I have the direction right. And that'll start charging my iTouch. We also include kind of a number of standard adapters. So these are phone adapters for Nokia, mini USB, micro USB, and we have these universal adapters. And you, from a combination of any of these adapters plus any USB cables or USB charging cables that you have, you'll be able to charge almost any device. This battery is charged from the sun in about six and a half hours of direct light. And once charged, it'll charge your iPhone about one and a half times. The battery can also be charged from a USB port on your computer in about five and a half hours. Even if, say, this battery is flat and your phone's flat, five or ten minutes of direct sunlight will, be, will get you running for quite a long time on your phone. Next to the battery, we have this cable that connects directly to the panels. Some phones, not all phones, but a number of phones, will, you can charge directly from the solar cells, bypassing the battery. This also allows you to charge big camera batteries, commonly called DSLRs, directly from the panels. What you need to do is switch from 6 to 12 volts and have a camera cradle specific, specific to your DSLR, and this will charge it. We have a case that allows you to store any adapters or loose cables in there. And there's actually there's two little loops here and on this end, so if you want to hang the amp from a tree or a window or anything else, you can attach it pretty easily. And then when you're done, zip it up and put it in your bag, carry it along. It's a very travel-worthy, compact solar case.